Hey traders, John Hell here. Hope you guys are doing well. In this video, I'm going to teach you a powerful, uh, powerful chart reading uh, technique or powerful chart trading technique to help you when you actually when you when you're looking at getting entries and exits and how to have the momentum on your side. My overall goal, my goal for this video is to teach you one simple technique to apply to your own trading that can really 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 help you out. So let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on this video. This video is not giving you any advice at all. This is just giving you my personal opinion what I'm seeing today. I have no idea what's going to happen tomorrow or moving forward into the future. So all trading involves with risk. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video. This video here is just to educate you to help you become a much better trader. Also, once you finish with this video, click the subscribe button, hit the like button, also the first link in the description, click on that, and I'm going to teach you the best trading strategy to trade in this high volatile environment. All right, traders, so in this video, I want to teach you one powerful, one powerful trading technique to apply when you're actually trading. And what is that? That is this, we always wanna be trading with the trend. Now, you're probably thinking, duh, John, we've heard that before. Yes, but how do you identify the trend? See, right now, I'm looking at a stock, doesn't matter what stock it is, and I'm actually looking at a weekly chart. Now, why am I looking at a weekly chart? Well, I'm looking at a weekly chart because if I, I'm looking at a, I'm looking at a weekly chart because why my trading chart is my daily chart. So therefore, I wanna be looking at the weekly chart for the trend. Where is the trend and where is momentum on that weekly chart? So if I'm trading, say, a one-hour chart, I want to be looking at the I want to be looking at the daily chart for where the trend is. If I'm trading, say, a five-minute chart, I want to be using a 15-minute chart or a 60-minute chart to gauge where is the trend. Makes sense. So your trading chart, your trading chart that you're trading. For me, I trade the daily chart. Next time frame up is weekly. So I'm using that for the trend analysis. So if I if I just bring up the I'm just I just put up this stock here. It doesn't matter what stock it is. And right now, when we're looking at this chart, there's a few simple things that you want to want you want to apply to gauge where the trend is. Firstly, look at the highs and look at the lows. That's the first the, the very first major thing that that's important. So what do we have here? We have a high. We have a this is actually a higher low. Now we have a lower high. Now we have a lower low and we have a lower high. So if we're gauging here, who's in control and where, and, 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 and where, is the, where is the trend clearly in, the, in, the, in this last year? The trend is clearly down, right? And that's all that matters. It doesn't matter what happened for the last 12 months. It doesn't matter what happened in the last two years. All that matters is that we've got a clear gauge, okay, right now in the recent mark, in the recent times, the, and that's all that matters is what's happening right now. It doesn't matter what it doesn't matter what about what happened back here. All that matters is what's actually happened in the recent times. We're getting lower highs and lower lows. Make sense? So that's all that matters. And that's how you engage where the trend is, just by looking at the next time frame and say, okay, what are the peaks and troughs? What are the highs and lows doing? What are they telling me? So that's the very first thing that I do to gauge where the trend is. Now the next thing I do is I look at I, I like to look at the moving averages. Because the moving averages is is likely to gauge to, to tell me where the overall uh, where the overall uh, where the overall momentum is. Um, so we definitely have a downtrend. But as you can see, what do we have here? Firstly, we have this is the 52 moving average. That's just flat. So therefore, it just shows like the last 52 weeks, uh, which is like which is like a year. This yearly moving average here is sort of flat. The momentum sort of. The, the long term, the, 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 the yearly moving average, the 52 weekly moving average is flat. So it's just showing that that's overall there. But you can see here this 20, this green one here, which is the 20 week moving average. And this one here, which is like a nine week moving average, which is like a, a month, month or so, you can see they're pointing out. So you can see the in in the, the last sort of couple of months or more, the 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 momentum is definitely starting to shift down. Now it's definitely, definitely, definitely very, very, very powerful when you start to get all the moving averages pointing down. You you have you have the you have the 52 pointing down, you have the um, the nine or oh, the twenty point down and the nine point down. Remember, this is on the weekly chart or your next time frame up. You're looking at and you're looking at the highs and you're looking at the lows. What is this? Low or oh, lower high? Well, actually, no, that one there. Lower high, lower high, and so on and so forth. 
So you can see this market's going down. So if you start this, if the market's doing this right now as you see it, and you start to get some buy signals through here, what are you doing? You're going against the trend. You're going against the overall uh, who's in control. Sellers are definitely in control. The trend is definitely down. Don't trade against that. If you want a high probability chance, you want to be looking for short signals through here to go short, to go short, to go short. That's going to give you a much better chance of doing being successful because you now you're trading with the trend. This is how this is one powerful trading technique you can use to identify where the trend is to help you to help you become a much better trader and help you when you're identifying really good trading setups.